compare. Turn up the voice sound. I have voice sound on 100%. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. Okay, let me figure out... So, is the general consensus that the sound is a bit too low? This is currently my audio balancing, and I want to make sure that it's good for you guys. Should I turn master volume up? And what should I do with music, and what should I do with sound effects? I would, uh, just a little bit of opinion. People say it seems fine, seems fine. Okay. I'm going to pop it up a little bit for myself. Yeah, I can't. We can't make her voice go to 120, unfortunately. We don't have that power. Oh. So I'll do, I'll try to do that. Maybe we'll drop this to like 72, 72 and make her slightly louder. He would take the towns back by force. All right, let's explore. We're not taking the damn road. They really want me to, though. But they wouldn't have put this over here. Oh, oh the sheep are so cute. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. The deer looks a bit weird, though. Do deer just have really thick necks in the British Isles? It might be it. There's a berry bush. Hmm. Frickin' Middlethorpe again. Let's see if we can pull some of these losers out. Hey! <laughs> Wait, come fight me! Okay, fine. I was trying to be tactical. So can I control clip? Oh, are these scout cavalry? They're light melee cavalry, okay. We're gonna send them onto the archers. These guys are gonna kill everything here. And it looks like kill speed has actually increased by a bunch. So it may be that that first tutorial is just a uh, slower fight speed. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Oh gosh, how do you build stuff? Uh oh! Alright, things seem okay. <laughs> uh, villager Q. Got it. And the Q is up here. I see. The rally is weird. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. Does anyone know what this is? Oh well. And let's try to build stuff. Oh gosh, how do you build? Advance to the feudal... Wait, you advance to the feudal age on a villager? Oh, this is weird. Okay, we got the string. Wait, where's my shoop? Ah, uh, here's my shoop. Gonna grab my cavalry, and they're gonna go shooping. Garrison, stop, attack, move, repair, stand ground. Oh, it's over here? Nine? Mil How do you build these? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, they follow him! Oh. No, but I don't want to click it. Clicking is bad. If you have to click to make a building... It, it can't be that. There has to be hockey somewhere. I just haven't quite figured it out. Press Q and then... Oh. Okay. So you go select unit Q. I see. It's up here. And then if you want to do advanced structures, it's... Ah, that's... That makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get, like, a granary or something. A mill. Villagers can drop off food at this building. House technologies to improve food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems good. 
I'm gonna build it right here. Oops, apparently we're adva Nope, we're building a scout. So is the way that this works, you... What am I supposed to do? Build four additional farms, assign five villagers to chop wood and build two houses. All right. I probably don't want to do that yet. Oh, I'm going to be a clicker. I've given up. I'll, I'll try to figure this out, but building hotkeys are so difficult to remember at the beginning. Also, a farm looks like an archery range to me because those look more like arrows than they do uh, stalks of wheat. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that. I am infamously dumb. I do like that they use grid by default. I think that's really nice. It'll help the learning. It's not perfect because nothing is perfect, but I think that it's a very, very strong way to start things. Carry capacity, villager speed. I do like villager speed. And then I kind of want to scout. Oh yeah, you guys are specifically scouts, so we can do that. I know that during the beta there was a really annoying issue that every time you clicked on your command center it would bing bong really loud. So I'm glad that that doesn't exist. In oh, hello. I'm glad that doesn't exist anymore. Because I am definitely a command center spammer. Let's build some spearmen. I'm not ready for farms yet. I assume that what's going to happen is I have to keep going. After this, I'm going to have to go invade somewhere, so I'm just going to make sure that I have an economy. I don't know how difficult the hard difficulty is, so I'm assuming that it's going to be fairly close to the level of Brutal in StarCraft. However, I am not a good Age of Empires player because I don't play the game. So I'm going to be very careful with the way that I'm taking things, especially at the beginning when I'm not used to them. Oh, more shoop. Yeah. This way, shoop. Can I build additional command centers? Because, oh, you guys aren't doing anything. We're under attack, whatever. This cooldown ability seems very, very good. Attack speed. I One of those things that really could use some flavor in its naming. I don't like it. <laughs> it's just like, what ability do you have? My ability is called attack speed. That's kind of boring. But I'm not going to complain too much about it. Here, send Mr. Shoop over here. Keep scouting. This is the edge of the map. This is a very large map. I like that. One of the things about StarCraft is that their maximum map size that they would use is fairly small. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's smaller than this map is. So having a whole big area to explore is really exciting to me. I should probably put a wall up here, right? Ooh, 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 okay. One thing a lot of RTS don't do that I really, really love is the ability to put units in multiple control groups, and you can absolutely do that. And I like the fact that it shows what control group a unit is in. So these are in control group one and two, these are in control group one. Really, really good decision making so far. I like what they've done with this game. I knew there were a lot of Debbie Downers when it was originally in beta and stuff, but I'm pretty impressed so far. Put these guys probably right here just to scout an incoming attack wave and keep building up. I need to remember that all these upgrades exist. Uh oh. Maybe I should just control this area. It seems to be the choke point. Outpost. Offers line of sight can be upgraded with weaponry and fortification, so that's just a tower. Cool. I like that they show the ranges on everything. I don't know what the difference between the dotted line and the other line is. I assume it's like vision and attack range. But just the fact that they give you all those pieces of information when you're building is phenomenal. Don't keep anything up to question. What do I have to do? Build two additional houses. Alright. 
Might as well get a move on with this main quest at this point. Oh, I'm still having hockey issues. I will. Because I don't quite know what the various what's are. What the icons mean. But I'll figure that out as time goes on, and it shouldn't be an issue because it's pretty intuitive once you get used to it. You guys are doing nothing. Is there a gold mine anywhere? The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Oh. Hmm. I don't like that. I feel like they should have forced me to build more of an army in this army tutorial instead of just giving me a giant one. Fulford stood in defiance to William's rule. Ah, frickin' Fulford. They're always like this, you know. The Fulfurders. Finlay, he can absolutely... Agree. That's how they are. He knows. We're going for the tower. Oh, do I put guys in the tower? Like, one, two, three. Yeah, you can. Oh, nice. Get in there, boys. What? What is this? I know there's a fight going on, but what is happening with my tower? It's like... Absolutely going insane. <laughs> so bizarre. How do I get guys out? There we go. Oh, I should probably just go fight, but I'm really scared. The game hasn't told me to mine gold. Maybe it'll be in the next town. Requirement in age number two. So let's advance. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, what is this? Build a landmark to advance to the next stage. Produce archers at double speed. Heal all nearby units out of combat. Oh, they took a... Uh, Age of Mythology vibes here. I like that. Not quite as extreme, but you know what I mean. Well, we're going to build a lot of spearmen. I have so many idle workers. I like that they have the little ZZZ icon for being idle. That's pretty cool. What, what am I trying to build? Barracks? Oh, it's the one with the other color. Where is the idle worker? Here it is. There's a button for it, too. Good. Is there a shift queue for it? No, you... Whoa! Oh, they just, like, go passively help out with nearby stuff when they're bored. That's cool. Does kind of mess up the idle worker thing, though. Like, if you think you have idle workers and then they all start working. Not that that just happened or anything. I'm just going to make sure my Spearman production is on point, and then I'm going to go. But I definitely need gold before I can build anything. I just don't know what gold looks like. <laughs> Alright, let's go, my French boys. Oh, I'm floating so much money, I just noticed. It's okay, everybody sucks when they started a game. It's okay to be bad. So I'm going to try something. If I just rally guys over here, are they going to help build those houses? Oh, they got a gate. Can we walk through? No, we can't. We got to pull back. Whoa, what happened to their thing? Oh, we got guys with like little fire bombs. That's neat. So do these passively help out? No, they don't. They help out build the farms. That was weird. Well, luckily, these guys are pretty garbage. So far, tutorial AI feels about as diff- Oh, they are helping out! Good job, buds! It looks like they won't help out mid-time, but when some new production starts, they will latch on. I think. So I have 15 guys here. Dude, 
food. I really like... Uh, I don't like the giant lag spike every time that... <laughs> Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, objective. William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Oh yeah, let's mine this rock. Where is a rock house? This place. Perfect. Oh, and a gold hut. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, I'm gonna build a mining camp right next to my mining camp. This is perfect. Gold mines are big. Is this how big they always are? Because those are huge. I like nine idle workers. Perfect. I'm trying to figure out if there is a way to group click these. Shift does not seem to work. Control does not work. Whatever that button is doesn't work. Nope. Alright. I guess they just don't expect you to have this many idle workers at any point in time. Oh, right-click it? No, unfortunately. That was a good idea, though. Oh, this is a painful process. The game lags because when you fill, fulfill an objective, it saves. That's pretty bad, too. RTS saving is not generally that difficult. And, ugh, yeah, that's a bit rough. Because you definitely don't want, like, a mid-combat thing. As someone who does a bunch of challenge runs, for example, I would be very, very against doing a sort of challenge run that causes a lag spike as it saves, because that is a time where the game would auto-save you into oblivion, and then you would lose. Whoa, you do not mine gold fast. We have 12 guys on gold. Oh, no, we don't. They're, <laughs> they're just very, not quite there yet. Got it. I'm trying to catch up on gold production. What are these? Market, a house. Oh, can we build the little house or the dudes? No. Hmm. I don't know. There's not much at Fulford. Feels kind of more like Halfford. Need to get my economy going again. Get a lumber camp over here so these guys are a bit more efficient. And then someday, I will tear up. Kills all units out of combat. I want archers. The Northern yeah. Army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. I'm gonna build a million spearmen. How far does this go? Okay, it goes exactly this far. So the command center does seem to attack on its own. But it's a pretty wimpy attack that I assume gets better as you have more guys inside of it. I forgot to use my attack speed upgrade. Oh no, he's... So, hey, um, alright. Well, I thought it was gonna be surrounded. But they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Okay. We ineffectually attacked you, but if you don't give us money, we will continue to not be effective. What what a threat. High armor, slow movement. Ooh, I like high armor. Send gold to the... Yeah, we're definitely destroying the Danes. How could you not? I'm done with workers. This is probably too many for a tutorial. Do these farms auto-replenish? How do they work? I can't tell. These don't seem to be extinguished, so I assume they're being automatically rebuilt. Alright. Sorry, the game is still a little bit overwhelming to me. Which is, uh, just how it is with new games, you know? I think one thing that a lot of people... Like, RTS in particular can be so visually overwhelming that a lot of people get turned off by it. And one of the very important things whenever you're starting something new is just accept the fact that, eh, I don't really get it, it's gonna be fine. We'll get it eventually. How do I build an archery house? I don't think I do. Yeah, it looks like we need to be in age two, the feudal age. 
I don't know why they needed the word age twice, but this is Age of Empires, so I get it. Then we gotta build our Palasad. Uh, Q, Z, click, click, and then click, click, and then click, click. I don't know who opened that up, what a jerk. How long does it take to build? Whoa, they build walls fast. Look at that. These guys are like rocket wall builders. Incredible. Is 200 max supply or did I just happen to... Let's try to build a house. See what happens. So can I use multi-build to advance the speed that I progress ages? It does look like that I can. That's very interesting. Oh. 200 is max. Okay. So I'm getting close to maxing out. That probably means I want to sack my supply to kill some Danes. Oh, look. You can even see it right here. There's nine guys on it. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Let's get a bee dizzy. And then we're going to get some archery ranges because I specced into it and some stables then we'll go back on golding get all the upgrades we can the Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat an outpost on the water well I have firebombs bypass the encampment destroy it or pay the Danes the gold they demanded she talks very slow bypass destroy or pay the gold that they owe hey <laughs> wait a moment you can't do that well we got men with arms so we can swing them up here let's see if we can pull them apart a little bit let's get a lot of archers pulling out here we go are we winning are we losing I have no idea I actually think that I'm getting crushed over there, which is fine. Increases melee damage of non-siege units, okay. Melee armor, yeah. They're having a hard time over here, I'm having a hard time over here, we're gonna pull back. What is happening over here? Oh, a bunch of friends. Is this the, you're playing the tutorial and you lost your entire army like a doofus, so here's an army to help you out? I'm pretty sure that's what that is. You're floating 37 trillion dollars off of two base. I got it. Where's my horses? Here's my horses. How do I want to do hotkeys? I guess something like that. At this point, I need a lot more guys on food. Yeah, there we go. Wait, did Willy die? Oh, no. Oh, we can pick him up. Okay. He's not dead. He's he's just fainted. He fell. <laughs> we need to get him Willy life alert. This is fine. Siege engineering. Melee and range infantry can construct siege towers and battering rams. Whoa, that's cool! Nice! Let's go attack again. What? Why is he just chilling out on his horse and the horse is standing up? That's a little bit funky. I don't think that's how that should be. Oh well. Once again, not the end of the world, just a little bit of a weird thing. Let's go grab our William. So we gotta right click him specifically. They get some health. We get the attack speed, and I think we're gonna be able to blitz through them this time. They don't have much left over, and my ranged counterpart is way stronger than it was before. Can I just hold the button down? I think I can. Alright, Danes have gotten got. Oh, they got money! 
Oh, we so rich now. If only I needed gold. <laughs> Wait, markets exist in this game. Buy food. Yeah. Perfect. Wait, what is stone for? <laughs> Why have I mined so much stone? I have no way to spend it. I feel like I've made a mistake in that department. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Ugh, the state. Okay, that needs to be fixed. I don't know what they can do to fix it because I don't know how their engine works, but the fact that anytime it saves, there is that huge William's lag spike is unacceptable. His grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Okay, we're going to go build some siege weapons on site. How do we do this? They said that men with arms can do it, right? Population? No. My macro was too good, so I couldn't proxy a siege weapon. Oh, wait, no, I don't want a bunch of scouts. What am I doing? <laughs> I just saw horses and I thought it would be a good time. Wow, that was a weird way to say that. All right, we got everything queued up. <laughs> Listen, we're going to scout them to death. They won't know what hit them, but we will because we will have scouted it. Oh, they killed my wall again. Oh, well. I have 15 idle workers. I am horrible. Q, 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 Q. How do... I don't... Okay. That's a weird way to do it, but all right. I wish that it would just put me over here when I press Q instead of if I'm over here, then I'll start building a market. That's probably just me being a dumb person, but it's confusing. It's just how my brain works. <laughs> I misplaced my farms, whatever. I don't think they're going to be able to beat a maxed out army. You do max out pretty quick once you get an economy going. It just takes a while to get that economy going. Probably because I was stuck on one base. <gasps> Look at that! They use tactics! They came in from the side! They came from the side! That's cool. It didn't work because they have like four units, but that's still really nice. Really neat. So right now it seems that men at arms plus archers is a really good composition. I don't know how good Johnny Horseman is. High movement speed, weak versus melee. Yeah, I am mostly a fan of infantry plus archers from now on. Or not from now on, but for now. Oh, you are a little bit bold, my friend. I'm going to walk right up to their gate. And we're going to knock, knock, knock and see how they're doing. This is going well. What are you doing? What's happening over here? <laughs> well, whatever. He's trying his best. Whoa! We just one-shot their wall? I guess it's an unupgraded wall, right? So it's kind of bad. And began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Where's the keep? Right now, guys, we're playing for... Holy crap, we're getting raided. Uh, pull back, pull back. Rally is in a bad position. Blow up the palisade. Okay, these guys are screaming at me. Are you gonna... Come on, fight me. If you're going to flank me, then flank me. Oh, the keep is really lame looking. Look at that. That's awesome. I don't know why I like that so much. I need to get used to holding down the button instead of tapping it for building. I think I'm getting crushed over here. I'm just going to work on the assumption that my production is better than my opponent's, so taking the fight over here is fine for now. I'm going to pull back a little bit so I'm not fighting exactly where the castle is. 
Okay, we gotta go help this rally, actually. It's getting crushed. I'm starting to run out of money as a result. I have 3,000 stone. I can probably sell some of it. Then buy some food. Get him, boys. I have too many archers, don't I? Siege tower. Tall infantry transport with no combat capability. Garrison infantry to be unloaded directly onto stone walls. There are no stone walls. Battergrams. That's what I want. Let's just build these. So what do we do with them? High ranged armor, high health can only attack buildings, slow movement speed. Got it. Queuing all the stuff, hoping it works. <laughs> this isn't quite... Good. So when you put guys in, do they get stronger? Or is it just a transport? It doesn't look like it can fit 15, 16 guys, but I guess they're just very, very close. Oh, they go faster. Okay. Get in, boys. They're never going to know what hit them. Okay, let's do a race. Figure out how fast this one is compared to this one. I don't think it's faster. I think it's just a way to protect them. Okay, once we get this final ram up, we're gonna go. Do I have too many archers? No. They do some pretty impressively large attack waves here. Units are so slow in this game. Here, get these over here. Where is Willie? I don't even know. Oh, he's chasing one guy. Classic Willie. Here, you finish that off. I'm going to push. I'm getting impatient. Oh, he's still got that macro going. Would you look at that? But I don't think he can deal with it this time. We're going to have a bunch of horses making because they rally more quickly. Then I figure if the counter to the ram is the melee and the counter to the melee is the archer, then archer ram is a composition. Oh, they're so slow. Just set my rallies right here, and hopefully a random side attack is not going to bot me this time. They have a ton of archers, but they don't really have anything they can do with them. Where is Willy? I can, like, never find... Whoa, that does a lot of damage. I guess they attack pretty slow. I can't find my king. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's got to be that way. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Good job. You did it. With about 12 units, according to that cutscene. I really like it. I'm probably going to go back on my own time and actually watch these. I also like how it gives a little timeline for how things are going, and we can see that we got barely any distance here, which makes me think there's going to be some pretty big time skips comparatively to finish this campaign. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. 
He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. Oh dear. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. I can't get over that they just use random drone footage that has people in it for this. It's so... <laughs> They could have figured out a way to not have people in it, I'm pretty sure. Janet's just over there like, I was just on holiday, and now I'm in Age of Empires. No one asked me about this. <laughs> 